I'm a math teacher and I have lots of different types of, types of students in my classes. Some students I have don't like to write anything down and those students get in really big trouble when we start multiplying and dividing rational expressions. And here's why. When you're multiplying and dividing rational expressions, you're going to have to do all kinds of factoring, you're going to have to cross out stuff that's the same on top and bottom, you're going to have to be careful with exponents, and if you have a division problem, you have to remember what you guys already know about dividing fractions. Try to complete the sentence. Dividing fractions is the same as... <laughs> Did you get it? Dividing fractions is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Like, let me show you what I mean. You learn this stuff when you're in like third or fourth grade. One fourth divided by three halves is the same as one fourth multiplied by the reciprocal. That's going to become really important when you start dividing rational expressions. It's going to be the same thing. You're going to be flipping your second fraction, keeping all of the same exponents, all the same positives and negatives. If you have a division problem, your second guy just turns upside down. So be really careful with that. If all else fails when it comes to multiplying and dividing rational expressions, just remember with division, flip your second fraction and then multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, factor everything, and then reduce. It sounds easy, but you guys are going to see these problems can be pretty tricky.